Hey, hello to guys. Don't bring you guys another gameplay. Uh, KM gameplay. This is a uh, a 42 and 7 Remington. Uh, no attachment gameplay. Uh, I was only using my perks, the standard setup with the the specialist and all that stuff. Uh, I was also going for lean kills. I was going for these last two camos to get gold. I ended up getting it uh, a few games after this, and uh, pretty much just was going for lean kills as you can see here. Uh, towards the beginning of the game, I was actually getting destroyed. I actually got a lot of funny little rage uh, clips to put in the rage taj for tomorrow. Uh, going through this gameplay, listening to everything that was said. Uh, so it's going to be uh, a little longer. I got these clips to add and render out and all that. Uh, but it's pretty it's pretty hilarious. Uh, the fact that I wasn't using anything. I mean, I, or any attachments. I usually run red dot and muzzle break. I don't really usually use uh, the iron sights for this gun. Just because I haven't, you know, I've gotten so used to the red dot for this gun and the Denny uh, reticle, it's it's really ridiculous. I don't really use it with anything else. Uh, the other day I tried using it with a like a silencer and an and armor piercing or something, and it just didn't work out for me. I just couldn't use it. I, mean, I, I guess that's just me. The red dot and muzzle brake is pretty much the only thing I use for it. Uh, but uh, yesterday was. Uh, as they call it in the NFL, Black Friday for coaches and stuff like that. Uh, one of the big uh, stories that came out was the Houston Texans job. Of course, Kubiak was taken out uh, a little while back. Uh, and uh, there's talks whether or not Bill O'Brien, uh, right now the Penn State head coach, is going to come and take over, which is a pretty interesting scenario if you, talk, if you think about it. Because the Texans did the worst this year, so they had the first overall pick uh, you got, they got a lot of good uh, interesting selections they could make uh, one being Teddy Bridgewater uh, obviously from Louisville or you know whatever uh, however you want to pronounce I'm pretty sure it's Louisville but whatever I'm not I don't live there I don't care uh, but he's coming out this year uh, they could take him or they could you know take somebody else that you know they don't know uh, they've got Case Keenum who I think is a good quarterback I just think his team blew the games for him uh, he didn't do too bad, uh, I don't think at least. Not from what I remember, he didn't do too bad, he didn't do too great. Made some good throws. Uh, made some bad ones, just like everybody else. Uh, they got TJ Yates, who did a few good, or had a good little season, a good little stretch there uh, a few years back. Uh, didn't start or anything this year. And then, of course, Matt Schaub, who I think is, is done. Uh, I think he'll either go somewhere else or retire. Uh, I don't really think... He's going to be starting anymore. Uh, he hasn't get, gotten the job done at all uh, as of late. They did good last year, but this year was awful. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know. Uh, whether or not they keep those two, excuse me, those two young uh, quarterbacks, uh, we'll have yet to see that. Uh, but I think they should go with Bridgewater. He's a, he's a really good quarterback, in my opinion. Uh, he's always making good throws. Uh, I think he can really develop at, at the pro level other than uh, some of these other quarterbacks that are coming out this year. There's some good ones, too. Uh, there's just I think Bridgewater is, hands down, the best one. Um, or they could wait, you know, and see what happens, and maybe they'll get, you know, Jameis Winston or somebody in, you know, in you know, a later time period, I guess. You know, maybe they'll do bad next year or the year after that, and maybe Winston will come out and maybe they'll draft him. I don't know. There's a lot of options they have. Um, and, of course, you got Tim Tebow. Uh, from what I think I saw it on Yahoo earlier, who signed a three-year deal with ESPN uh, as a college analyst, I believe, or a college uh, broadcaster, with the option in his contract to return to quarterback as a quarterback in you know in, in the NFL. So that's pretty interesting. We'll see how that you know lays out and stuff like that. But uh, this video is about coming to an end. I uh, appreciate you guys watching this short little KM gameplay. The Rage Tide is coming out tomorrow, so I won't be putting up one of the KM gameplays that I have. Uh, I'll put out the Rage Taj. Uh, and I also get my NBA 2K13 tomorrow, so I'll be playing a little bit of it. Might put up a gameplay of that, but uh, other than that, I appreciate you guys watching as always, and uh, peace.